Hey guys, so turns out a lot of people need Black Spindle, still. Past couple of times Lost to Light has popped up, Holtzman and I have been running people through to get their Black Spindle. And so on our latest stream, I wanted to see if I could do a solo Black Spindle run, and turns out I did it on my first try. So today I wanted to give some advice as to how you might have a chance at soloing the encounter. First off, if you have no clue what I'm talking about, the Lost to Light mission sometimes is the daily heroic mission. If you go off the beaten path of that mission, which will be shown here and is also in another video of mine, you will enter a timed event where you have 10 minutes to clear all of the Taken in the area. If you do it, you get the Black Spindle Sniper, which is a very good weapon. I was a Sunbreaker Titan, but I imagine you will have a similar experience if you are a Stormcaller Warlock. Nightstalker might struggle a little bit, but Gunslinger is a somewhat viable option. The biggest piece of advice I could possibly give is to make sure you kill the Blights as soon as you get vision of them, and do it immediately before doing anything else. The reason is because these Blights will continue to spawn enemies for as long as they are up, every 20 to 30 seconds or so. They are super obnoxious and will be the number one reason you end up failing the run. It is almost worth using a super on them if it means you are going to knock them down quickly, but typically you should save your heavy and super for big threats like captains, wizards, and centurions. A key thing to remember is that when you are solo, things don't have nearly as much health as they do when you're in a full group of three. So throw that logic out the window if you make an attempt. Stuff is going to die a lot faster than you may be anticipating, including the boss at the end. As for equipment, any primary weapon that you like will serve you well, but I personally value any weapon with life support. Life support is like having a really crappy red death equipped, but it procs a good amount of the time, and I guarantee it will save you at least once per run. Survivability is the name of the game here, so anything that's going to help you live is just amazing. Hell, if you wanted to run with Red Death itself, that would also be a wise decision. Bad Juju is also a good choice, as is maybe Zalo Supercell, because getting your super a lot is really, really going to be helpful here. A sniper rifle or a shotgun will work in the special slot, but I personally went with a sniper. When your highest priority is taking out blights as fast as possible, a sniper is going to be your friend. My heavy weapon was the Solar Exotic Sword, but you do have some options. I think Sleeper Simulant is alright because it can one-shot captains and knights, but you will burn through ammo really quickly. A Solar Heavy Machine Gun also works well, but be ready to pop synths. A sword is going to be the highest risk, highest reward play. You will absolutely destroy things, but getting into that kind of range puts you in a lot of danger. If you don't have an exotic sword, use the solar legendary sword if you have it. Let's go room by room. The first room is a relatively quick clear. There are four knights and one centurion. There are two blights, one right in front and one off to the left with a knight. The knights actually go down to two regular solar sword swings. So if you're looking to spare some ammo, it's worth it to save considering how quickly you can swing the sword. The first blight should die as soon as possible, with the second following it very quickly. Yes, I do realize that I forget to kill the second blight very quickly, hence why I pop my super later in the run. The centurion will die to one or two R2 swings from a sword, but otherwise is a pretty tanky target, and you may want to consider having arc damage for this guy exclusively to bring him down quicker. The next small room features two captains and four vandals, which will pinch you from the sides, just burst them down with solar damage. Note that if you wait out of line of sight like I do, they won't attack until they see you. Obviously being a solar subclass helps. I know I recommended Stormcaller, but that's because you need the range and constant spray of damage, and I don't think Sunsinger does that very well, although you could start as a Sunsinger and switch back if you wanted to. The next room has three blights, two to the right and one to the left. Kill the first two that you can see immediately. You should hopefully have another super by now, which you should use to kill a wizard at the least. I go to the left to get rid of some acolytes. If you can kill this third blight with your super, do that. The wizards may be bunched up. If they are, use your super and torch them immediately. If they are not, they'll be spread out, one on the left, one in the middle, and one on the right. 
Note that the Thrall that they summon will give you super energy when you kill them. Keep that in mind if you're close to a super. Maybe let them spawn a couple of Thrall for some easy energy. After the Wizards and Acolytes are down, you can then focus on the Vandal Snipers. They'll likely take two sniper shots to kill. You can jump up and take them out with a sword, but I wouldn't do it if all of them are still alive. Kill one or two of them first if you're going to do that. Vandals will also give you a lot of super energy, so if you're close, try to snipe one down to get your super. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. I got all the Shadow Thralls in the pot. God, this still on light me. up. Ah, let's spawn in. Screw it. Where all these acolytes come from? S still one more. Oh, you cheater. I was hitting the tunnel at just over three minutes, so if you're around that time, you're in good shape. Up next are a couple of phalanx and a major taken captain. Make sure you have heavy for this captain, but don't use your super. Following that are two knights with solar shields. A solar grenade and some primary shots will do the trick. Otherwise, just use some heavy to rip their shields off and then primary them down. Now we get to the fun part. The reason why people struggle here is because they don't put enough energy into killing the adds and the blights. Most people just try to race down the boss and that is not smart. Additional enemies will spawn at certain health percentages, so if you aren't burning the boss fast enough, then you're just going to have to deal with tons and tons of adds. Focus the adds first. What I would recommend is killing the two blights, one left and one right, with the sniper shots first, then use your super to kill both phalanx and as many scions as you can. You will clear this place much faster that way. Ignore what I did. When all the adds are dead, that's when I focus the boss. And it only took four sniper shots with a luck in the chamber proc to cause him to summon the next wave of adds. Okay. Whoop. Whoop. Excuse me, knight. Place to be. When you start to hear the next wave being spawned, head to the back of the room. In this wave of adds, you're going to have four knights spawn and we want to kill them as fast as possible. Two of them spawn in the lower tunnel kind of area. A well-placed grenade or some sword swipes will destroy them. Then head to your left to take out the third knight in the corner. From here, you probably have another super, which you should use to get rid of the blight in the corner and whatever adds you can. You can also use your super to get rid of the knights if you want. The fourth knight will be back towards the opposite side of the room, but you don't need to rush to get him. Once again, it only took me four sniper shots to bring the boss into the third wave of adds. Get back here. Eh. Come on, come on, come on, pop, pop. There we go. Oh, that was a good stun right there. Knew that. For the third wave, head to the back of the room again and be at the stairs that lead up to the balcony kind of thing. As soon as the blight spawns, a bunch of scions will spawn near it. Either toss a grenade or kill them as they funnel down the stairs. Don't miss your jump like I did. Killing them in this way prevents them from spreading and makes blight killing very, very easy. Once again, there are two blights in the back of the room. Those and the centurions are your priority. In between killing on the stairs, a super, and a couple of sword swings, you should be able to clear the majority of the clutter that spawns in this third wave. Can we stop it? I'm getting my push back in here. I'm not spending too much time on ads. The fourth wave is the last wave. Two captains will spawn from the left side doorway, the left side meaning the left door where you originally come into this room. Killing those two captains right off the bat and the blight that spawns up front 
will make your life so easy. I don't recommend starting from the back like I did because it's too easy to get surrounded if you don't have your super. I do a dumb thing and I attack too much stuff and I lose 20 seconds. After respawning at the front, I kill the blight and kill whatever is the easiest thing to kill. Clearing a bunch of scions is really helpful. Letting one or two of them multiply is all right if it means that you can kill a captain. This strategy works for basically all groups, solo or not. If you choose to focus on the boss too much, you're just going to get overwhelmed. Focus adds, clear the room, then go to the boss. Add priority is, blights first, then shielded enemies if it's safe, then scions. Play it patiently, and after a little practice, you should get it. If you're still struggling, Holtzman and I try to do runs with viewers to help you guys get Black Spindle if we are available on the day that it is the heroic. But those are my solo tips. I don't know if a solo run of this place is impressive or not. You tell me. But that's going to do it for me. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ah. Uh. Done. You finished? Yeah. I couldn't. I think, yeah, you were right. Sunbreaker's definitely way better for that. <laughs> yeah, like, you you have the power to kill ads. I don't. Yeah. I'm... Yeah, I got one. So good. Wonderful day, Guardian. How many tries is that? That was Scatagus. Thank you very much for seven months in a row. Man, I'm so... I'm just Appreciate that, man. Let's see if I can't at least kill this dick. I got, got the solo, at least.